So hello guys welcome back to another video of our youtube channel and today we will be discussing a very important topic the reality of bug bounty hunting how actually the bug bounty hunting is what it's like to be in my journey how was my journey of bug bounty what i achieved what are the main points that you have to discuss and a lot of information at the end of the video so before going into the video we have launched a 7 day remote code execution bootcamp you can check it out the link in the description and in this bootcamp we will be discussing how i was able to find rc in multiple big companies and how i achieved my major goals right if you are aware, uh, if you are active on twitter then you might have seen all the posts there if you are not click uh, click the link given in the description and also apart from the remote code execution bootcamp you can also check that we have launched a few more things in the last time we are having the same bug bounty beginner batch 10 if you are a beginner you will be completely focused for the beginners and if you are an advanced guy you can also go with it uh, there are when many advanced topics there are more than 55 p1 bugs and a lot of other things and other than this uh, we have launched a few more things i would like to check you out in the description we have launched a complete checklist how i usually do a metro what is my methodology checklist recon process and all the other things and also if you want recordings of folder batches you can contact always have the number in the description and that's for it let's get into the video so before starting the main topic i wanna express some things uh, this video is gonna be 100 percent real about everything so if i just start with the basic topic bug bounty has given me many things i went from this setup to this crazy looking setup but everything deserves to the bug bounties Bug bounty can give you multiple things apart from them thing. Many of you face multiple issues like duplicates, uh, like the not applicable. You, you may be having some troubles learning things. You may be having some sort of queries that you are unable to solve. You might have some sort of lacking the checklist methodology and multiple things. So how can you overcome that thing? So to overcome that thing, we have to do some particular things to be precise, I would say. Uh, if you want to avoid duplicates, there is a very simple solution. I will just drop some links. I, I guess you will be so it is showing in the screen. Uh, just check out these links. Uh, you will be very grateful for these things. Uh, there are multiple things that you can do to avoid duplicates. Duplicates is a part of the process. Me as a bug hunter still get duplicates. A lot of duplicates, right? In my hacker one bug cloud profiles, whatever profile they are, there are hundreds of duplicates each month maybe each two or three months yeah they they are not gonna be uh, vanished but yeah you can make make it disappear make the count less by doing some sort of additional hunting or additional exploiting all what you have to do is very simple thing you have to just make yourself or learn yourself some sort of uh, uncommon bugs i won't say that you just stop hunting for xss do hunt for it if you're hunting for something else you want to avoid duplicate escalate it to the maximum if you find a bug just don't be very eager to uh, report it have some time analyze that bug read every blog possible you can watch on the internet right everything that is possible to you that you can obviously go to the links right you can just open the blogs open the videos open the medium articles open the hacker one the activity section and read every possible blog right Understand the, the just drink out the whole vulnerability. You just have to do that. That's a compulsory thing. Now after it, after understanding the whole vulnerability, now you got to do two or three things. You have to do some sort of escalations. I would say escalation is always possible. In my opinion, escalation is possible in 95% of cases. You just have to pay time and attention to it and have a will to escalate it rather than reporting it for some bug like $400. To escalating it to the straight five thousand dollar you have to understand that thing after it have a mentorship i won't say a mentorship as any any sort of course or anything else you guys can have a lot of queries i can understand we all have a query when we are going to start anything else but after starting if you are having any sort of queries do two things you all are on social media i, I guess if you are watching this on youtube maybe you will be reacting from social media twitter or whatever you can Every social media has a feature named as chat section. Go to the chat section, 
make a lot of friends that you don't have to do this sort of things to any hunter hello and how are you don't text these things just text your query you will get your solution soon if you want to contact me the link all the handles are in the description i will mention all my friends in the upcoming stories so make sure to check it out and also be eager or be uh, be a guy who can talk to the other hunters you, it, there is no shame that of okay, if you don't know about what is click jacking there is no shame okay you are beginner once all of us are beginner it's okay if you ask anyone about any bug that's not a big deal be sure that you do that thing the third thing that i would say escalating duplicates not applicable now we on the third thing that duplicates right how to avoid uh, the how to avoid the not applicable sorry how to avoid the not applicable how you can avoid it so the main or the one of the best thing that you can do to uh, remove the not applicable is a very simple thing before reporting the bug yeah like suppose you have written the whole report here in the screen you are just watching in the screen you uh, wrote the whole report right now you have to do two things first of all have some sort of uh, like just change yourself understand that you are the owner or you are the security researcher from the company who is going to analyze the, who is going to analyze the whole report now what will you do from your own uh, from your own as a bug bounty hunter your perception was like okay i have to find bug i want to get some bounties maybe i want to get some hall of fame maybe some sort of swags and all those things but as a security researcher you have to take a look is that thing really vulnerable or am i reporting a per, uh, particular valid thing you have to check both of these things right so make sure you know all these two things now the last but not least that uh, unable to find bugs like definitely that's not a big deal but usually lot of us find a very big issue which is uh, usually known as i was not able to find a bug i was not able to find some sort of errors or how to find bugs so the perfect answer for this would be don't look for bugs look for functionality abuses you don't have to check for okay i got the logging panel let me try to do this xss no you don't have to you are not supposed to okay what you are supposed to do there is there is a what functionality let me exploit that you have to check all the possibilities of each and every vulnerability and if you want to know how you can do the whole possibility things there is a uh, thing I, i guess you will be able to see in the screen here right now now in the screen you can see that now uh there are multiple bugs listed here i can i don't know how how can you get these things maybe before publishing the video i will publish this thing but definitely check all these things out there are, you don't have to understand the particular bug or the payload or the particular place to enter the payload or type the payload you have to do something called a proper functionality abusing you have to particularly go for a functionality try to abuse it using multiple things you got oauth you got uh if you got oauth the tokens the particular functioning the takeovers right you can just find some sort of way back to get the leaks so understand how you can get everything it's all about having a perception and thinking out of the box is not something that you have to force yourself to do that is very simple you can just simply do it right through the wall that's so simple you just you don't have to take a big force on your brain right and last but not least there are some things that i want to add that don't be eager to get the money be passionate about the actual hacking stuff join some groups maybe if you want to not the other ones join the groups that if you want to you can just join multiple hunting groups if you want the men- there are multiple mentioned in the description don't forget to check it out you can also join hell lot of things out there do group hunting if you like to if you don't like to do group hunting it's okay solve your every query you get any query any time just dm 10 of the your known people right there is no shame in doing that what's the worst you can get you will not get reply what's the worst that's the worst case right do that thing you will get a lot of your path solved out if you can go get some courses the courses will not give you the content you can get the content internet online but the courses will give you a perfect mentorship a perfect on hand doubt solving and that's the one of the most important thing in my opinion that is supposed to be there when everyone is learning 
so that was the main thing for today's video i don't know how will you just respond to this video i don't know how anyone would just make a comment i don't care about anything that's all what i think about it i got multiple things i got multiple questions related to it these are the major four questions that i solved here but rather than that these are the major topics that i want to express right and that's all for today's video thanks for watching like share and subscribe and see you guys in the next video and don't forget to check out the links in the description